Hello, it's Lucy here. Today, Alan and Jane, we're going to be talking about teacher references for your UCAS um, application. So teacher references for UCAS, I think the first thing you want to be aware is that you're allowed one reference, um, but who's doing that reference pretty much depends on your school policy. What I would advise is for you to very early on in this process, when you have an idea of perhaps what subject or what subjects you're thinking of doing, is to speak to maybe your form tutor or whichever if you know who your school counsellor is just to kind of ask um, obviously university applications are coming up soon I think I'm going to be doing this like who is there a policy on references who does this um, in my case um, I was able to just ask one of my history teachers and they wrote the reference for me um, and I was going to do history so that seemed sensible um, but pretty much each school will have a policy of which teachers can do what, how many references a single teacher can write so you want to make sure you start thinking about this early and you have a conversation early just to get a sense of who you should ask um, what the school policy is on it because it's actually quite common for say multiple teachers to write a reference and then someone else puts them together it's also a good idea to do this early because I don't know how large your school is but it's possible a single teacher has got to write 30 40 or more references um, and you want to give them time um, so the earlier you can approach them the more time they can spend on your reference they'll be happier that like no one wants to get asked to do something super last minute um, so that is always a good way to get a good reference um, if your school does allow choice in who your referee can be it's a good idea to get someone that is in either the subject you're applying to or a very relevant subject so for history I got a history teacher that I had a close relationship with and who taught me to write my reference um, but say English would have also been um, a good one. Obviously there are some subjects that you might take at university and you don't get taught um, in your high school so ask someone that does a similar subject so for instance economics having your maths teacher write a reference would be a really good idea but it really varies and basically what you want to be doing is having a conversation with your teachers from early on to figure out who can give you the best, re best reference who can give you the most suitable reference. Um, generally, you don't see this reference. Um, it gets, the way UCAS works is you complete your profile, the teacher then attaches their reference separately so it all gets sent along. And generally, schools also have a policy that students never see the reference. My teacher did show me mine, but I'm like, because I suppose I was a good, good student and also I was applying very early when there wasn't because I was applying to Oxford I was applying in October when the main deadline is January there's a bit more flexibility at that point and the teacher was happy for me to show it after it had got sent but it's you shouldn't think that they're hiding anything if they don't want you to see it that's a very very common thing for them to do but pretty much just start having a conversation early so you can figure out who's the best person, what the school policy is, make sure your teacher has enough time to write a good reference. Um, and you can even start to, at that point, build on that relationship. Um, the more you can, if you do know, you can even start, just talk to them more, like ask them for advice about applying. Um, books you could read that are relevant like just it gives you a little bit of a chance to show off and um, for them to include things um, but that's the general advice of what to do about your teacher references for UCAS applications as always if you have any more comments please just comment below but that's it for now
Hope you enjoyed our videos. You can click here for more and you can click right here to subscribe.